All physical objects, even me and my chair, exist in three dimensions. Everything has a width, and a height, and a length. But there is another kind of length, a length in time. While a human may survive for 80 years, these stones will last much longer, for thousands of years. And the solar system will last for billions of years. Everything has a length in time as well as space. Traveling in time means traveling through this fourth dimension. To see what that means, let's do a bit of normal everyday traveling just to get a feel for it. A fast car makes it a bit more fun. Drive in a straight line and you're traveling in one dimension. Turn right or left and you add the second dimension. Drive up or down a twisty mountain road and that adds height. So that's traveling in all three dimensions. But how on earth do we travel in time? How do we find a path through the fourth dimension? Let's indulge in a little science fiction for a moment. Time travel movies often feature a vast, energy-hungry machine. The machine creates a path through the fourth dimension, a tunnel through time. foolhardy individual, prepared for who knows what, steps into the time tunnel and emerges who knows when. concept may be far-fetched and the reality may be very different than this but the idea itself is not so crazy Physicists have been thinking about tunnels in time, too. But we covered it from a different angle. We wonder if portals to the past or the future could ever be possible within the laws of nature. As it turns out, we think they are. What's more, we've even given them a name. Wormholes. <laughs> 